Hi everyone, welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot, and welcome Capricorn to your angel message of this week, March 7th. Thank you for being here, and thank you for returning, and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and those of you who have just arrived, we do angel messages every week and love readings every 12 days, so thank you for being here. I'm new on the circuit, so it would be great for you to help me build my channel, subscribe, share, comment, and like. Awesome. Anyway, um, so... So much is going on. We have the new moon on March 13th in Pisces, bringing Neptune and Venus together. So it's beautiful energy uh, for seeding all your dreams, your wishes. Um, it's about love. It's about heart awakening, heart healing. Um, it's everything that brings us inspiration to dream a new reality for ourselves, something even greater, right? So that energy is here for you coming up. And know that Neptune is also somewhat, uh, is an energy of unconditional love as well as taking us into the inner voice, taking us down deep, right? And know that, um, know that there's sacrifices sometimes made in love, know that everything that's going on is on every level of love, not just relational love, but it, well, relationships on all the types of relationships with its co-workers, family, friends, yourself, and even money. So uh, please use that energy to see so that in the full moon, um, you'll see something manifest, Capricorn, right? And you know this, you are the, you know, the mystic here. So you know all about the cycles of energy um, in the moon. I know that also uh, what we're doing here every week in our angel messages, our focus is about learning about the arc field, the human energy field, which is definitely real. It's definitely um, been by Carillion photography um, shown that it does uh, exist. So anyway, Last week was the root chakra, our first level of the field, which is a structured level. It's all about earth energy, being grounded in the earth, being self-empowered, feeling safe in our bodies, safe in our place, and really rooted into the earth energies, into that molten rock, that red color, red fiery. Breathe in that color, exhale that color, become that color. Or oh, go out into nature, hug a tree, go to the beach, put your feet in the water, step on the sands, lay in the grass, walk into the forest. Or if not, you don't have that available, well, Go online or go get a book or a magazine and view a beautiful vision of earth energy. You know, vision of beautiful Mother Earth. She's gorgeous, right? She's nurturing. So that's the energy. Now this week is about the second chakra. It's emotional intelligence. Yes. And it is a fluid field. It's not solid. Um, it's not structured. So here we have our feelings, our thought forms, everything that we created here. Uh, in our second chakra and sometimes it holds lower vibrations because of past pain, past anguish, um, anything that's unprocessed, anything of lower vibration that we haven't processed or let go of, um, it keeps us sluggish <laughs> and tired and not and feeling bored. So we want, because that's our creative energy there, that's about creation. Um, everything happens in the pelvis. So how we let go of these uh, energies is to just become orange, breathe in orange, uh, exhale orange, and when our hands are on our pelvis, right below our belly button, like an inch and a half, our warm hands become orange, and then when you're ready to release something, scoop it with your energetic fingers, there's light at the end of your fingers, and, and just visualize yourself scooping out those thought forms, forgiving, releasing, and then just see your hand is orange, <laughs> and then release it into the light, okay, and just let it go, and know that, um, then on the return, just fill that space up with unconditional love, golden pink energy. We want to fill in a new you, right? Radiating you. Um, so in order to fill in the new, we have to let go of the old. <laughs> so um, here we go. Now, oh, let me, before I begin um, this uh, reading, and no, emotional intelligence is about, you know, self-awareness. It's about communication. It's about empathy, feeling uh, how we feel with others, sharing our feelings, being more intimate about who we are, that's emotional intelligence as well, and all the components of relationship is about emotional intelligence because we want longevity in our relationships and our friendships and everything, and feeling balanced, right? So all that goes in emotional intelligence. Um, so let's see uh, what we do with our energy, especially if we're pushing too much or people walk away. If we're needy or codependent, people step back. So know that this is all about balance and being self-aware of every little piece within you, Capricorn. Knowing which, uh, what, is, what are you feeling in the moment so that you take the right step in real firmness and stability and really making the best choices so you're not needing anything, right? You just make the best choices. So anyway, with all that energy, and I'm sure you've heard this before if you read my love reading, 
Um, but my guide told me to do this for my angel reading. So for this week that I created this poem out of the clear energy that came through uh, for this focus, um, I'm going to share it with you again. So here it goes. Um, and I have been a writer for many years, but I haven't written poetry in a long, long time. I've written books, but not this. So here it goes. For you, <laughs> Capricorn, love is a thing with feathers. Who shall I love? Who will love me? Love is a feathered heart plucked by the flight of desire, its path unknown in a gust of wind and fire. Will it find me? My heart and soul longs to rest on its feathers as one merging destiny. Love is the giver. Light is its feathery flame, never ceasing, always giving. Love is like this. So that was for you, Capricorn, <laughs> and for me too, because I'm a Capricorn too. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little bit. Um, it, I wanted to set the stage for this message, and that's what my guys told me. Set the stage of message, uh, of energy with that message for your reading. So I just follow my guys. <laughs> All right, so let's see now. What angel is guiding this reading for you, Capricorn? What is coming in from the angelic realm? And then we go into the planetary forecast, which is the Milky Way, the great central core, the great central core of our um, our uh, solar system, right? It's the Milky Way, so the galactic core, actually. And let's see, from there, then we bring it into the higher self, which is right here, and then into the third dimensional timeline with the tarot. So here we go, we're gonna start with the angelic realm. Let's do that one more time, so it's nice and tight which it is, and let's see, for Capricorn, retreat, <sighs> retreat, yeah, this is time to retreat, they're saying, are you working too hard, Capricorn, yes, we do, we work a lot, there's never a day that goes by that we have nothing to do, right, we're always, do <laughs> we're always doing something, so here we go, with our messages, so now let's go to the planetary forecast. We're going to see what energy we've been putting out there um, in the realms of the Milky Way, the planets that affect us, um, that radiates their energy into our lives. So let's see what magic are we performing out there? What energies are we putting out there that's hopefully going to bring us back something? And uh, especially now, right, with the new moon coming, is the time of seeding. So what's going on here for Capricorn? Jupiter's going to get let us know what's going on in your life that's pretty decent. Um, you're doing well. What's hidden yet that's not revealed yet to you. What Saturn is returning or requiring of more of you. And the sun, what's in the sun's uh, aspect of the placement there, of what possible outcome there could be. So let's see here. For Capricorn, because we're going to make a, a pyramid once we finish with the star. So here we go. For Jupiter, what is Jupiter's placement saying? The 11th house, friends. Okay, so um, there's some friends in your life right now, maybe new friends that have returning, new friends that are going to come into your life. You're making new acquaintances. Um, you know, people, when you change your energy and you radiate differently, you are radiating new type of people in your life. So this is definitely happening. This is a good thing. 11th house, lots of um, wonderful changes will happen from meeting new people. So what is in the moon placement that's not revealed yet to you? Ah, uh, the earth element, yeah, <laughs> money, <laughs> stability. So just keep on doing what you're doing, uh, Capricorn. You know that you're sending out really good, good energy out there, and it's only going to bring back the stability, but it's not ready yet to come back into your presence, okay? But it's definitely in the work, so that's, that's cool. You know, the moon is glittering. Um, at your um, at your cycle here. So let's see what Saturn is returning to you. <gasps> Part of fortune, love, yeah. increase. Wow, this gorgeous energy. I'm so happy myself. So all the hard work we're doing, meeting new people, making new connections, networking, um, is definitely um, is definitely going to bring us this beautiful um, stability um, of Earth elements, strong. Um, pros prosperity and luck, fortune. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I'm so happy. <laughs> Increase, yay. And what's the outcome? Well, let's see what the sun is gonna show us. Healing, yes, oh, I love that. So this is all positive. All, all this energy here between uh, new acquaintances, friends, networking, um, stability, prosperity that's coming in, great fortune. This is going to heal your life. Um, 
This is going to heal your, your presence, your past, and retreat is finally going to be here for you as well. You're going to rest in this prosperity. So let's see what your higher self is going to be telling you about um, what's going on here as well. So a lot of good things have been happening here. A lot of good energy has been putting out there. So let's see what else is going on here for you, Capricorn, um, in your daily uh, cycle. And you know, everything we do and breathe and say and express goes out into the ethers, into the zero point field or the morphogenic field, you want to call it, or the universal field is the void and it's our laboratory where we create and we put it out there and it comes back to us. It's magic. We are magical personalities, everyone. We love magic, right? So here we go. What is our higher self adding to this um, energy that's coming in, trickling in? You are currently under construction. Please be patient. Yay! <laughs> so with our friends and our networks, we're definitely, we definitely are changing a lot of things. So we're under construction, networking, uh, electrical, I feel. I feel it's more electrical, more kind of um, exchanging and, and really sharing and, and being supported by new friends that are going to take us places, into new places of us. So, despite the frustration, you're on your way to making all your dreams come true. It's right over the stability of the earth element, our prosperity. Yes, it's coming. How wonderful. Uh, we work so hard. <laughs> okay, and let's see what Saturn is returning to us. It's returning us more fortune. Don't fear a blank canvas. Use it to turn your life into a masterpiece. Yeah, so maybe we don't know what we're going to do with all this fortune yet. We don't know, but even if it's blank... Let it be for a while, retreat in it, and let it, you know, let it sift for a while until we create this wonderful masterpiece of our, our, our life, right? Because if it's, we don't know what we're going to do, sometimes we'll say, oh my God, now we're going to do all this, <laughs> right? But don't fear, retreat, rest in the thoughts and the feelings, and the, it will unfold. I always notice that whenever I want an idea or something or an answer to something, if I just wait a few minutes, even a half a day, all of a sudden it unfolds. Like I never know what I'm going to do in this focus, and all of a sudden it just clicks. Anyway, what else? What else, higher self? If you need to break the rules, do it with conviction to make a difference. So in healing here, you may be do retreating um, in a healing modality that's different than what, than what you're used to. So don't worry if you're breaking um, the rules or breaking a pattern. Yeah, do something different. You know, that's okay. Um, and do it with conviction, like you really mean it. Because sometimes when we're making changes, go, oh, I don't know. Give it all your effort, okay? <laughs> Give it all your effort and, and make the difference. Um, even if it's uh, something that you, you need to break a, a bad habit or you need to break a way that you've been doing something um, that you've always done and you say, oh, I'm never going to break those rules. Oh, yes, we will. <laughs> so let's see. Now we're going into the third dimensional plane, the 3D timeline here in our present moment in the now with the um, this oracle of visions. Let's see what energy is guiding this three-dimensional timeline for us, Capricorns. <laughs> okay, here we go. So stay with me. Ah, this is... The fear of the unknown. Okay, so we're not we're not knowing everything. Okay, so sometimes when we're in the unknown and the unknowable, we kind of um, oh wait a second, there was a card missing. Oh, we have to do it up over again. <laughs> I didn't. See, that was from the previous reading. I'm so sorry, Capricorn. Um, let's redo that. Um, but then again, you know, we could have used that card too. But no, it's, it's best to shuffle all of them together. It makes a difference to me. Um, it doesn't make sense not to. So let's just reshuffle this. And let's see what energy is guiding this 3D timeline for Capricorn. Ah, so the many faces. The, what, right now here, you know, when we're meeting a lot of different people, sometimes we wear a lot of different costumes. You know, we, we, we are not in our real... Uh, self, so be careful of that. What they're saying, what this card is saying here, is that you're going to meet a lot of people, and it may also uh, make you feel that you have to be something other than who you are by wearing a mask or 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 not being authentic. Okay, so this is about really be authentic, be yourself, come out. Don't be afraid to be who you are. You don't want to wear these masks anymore. You don't want to be anyone to please anybody. You know, maybe you've been famous before or something, or maybe not, and. And people see you make a choice or a different political move or, oh, no, 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 we don't like you anymore. No, 
you be yourself. You do whatever it is that, that makes you feel yourself. Don't be in a mask and don't um, be afraid to be you and make the decisions that feel right for you and not to be pleasing the crowd. You're not a crowd pleaser. You know, that's not what we do. We want to be authentic and that's what it's saying. Be authentic right now because that's what's going to make the difference in all these dreams. Despite the frustration, you're on your way to making all your dreams come true. Your masterpiece this blank canvas is going to become a masterpiece, yes. And all this is going to be amazing. You're under construction, yes. All this connection with new people in your life, new friends are going to help you network and be much more um, radiating. So let's see, what's in the tarot, in the timeline here for you, the Capricorn? What is going on in the three-dimensional timeline here with the tarot? Let's see. Let's see what's going on. One more shuffle, and then we will lay out the cards and create our pyramid. So, for Capricorn, where are you in the physical? Where are you in the challenge? What seed is this? What's in the emotional body? Let's move this up. What is in the mental body? Okay. What is in the heart? what is needed to be surrendered or surrendered to, and what is the outcome. And so here is our little pyramid. <laughs> anyway, it is a pyramid in my eyes. Okay, so here we go. So where are you, Capricorn, in the physical? You're in the Knight of Wands. You're very ambitious. You have a lot of drive here, a lot of energy to really, really move forward. Um, you know, you have great ideas, great imagination, great vision. And so the Knight of Wands energy to me is you have a lot of passion for what's going on in your life right now. You want to even create more, um, you know, uh, new new things that are going to come into your life that are going to be very, very um, wonderfully supported for you um, in this new cycle of increase, yes, of your dreams coming true. Retreat. <laughs> and what is it that is your challenge? Patience. Okay, so everything takes time, and the healing card is here in the sun, um, in the sun aspect of what the outcome is going to be. You're going to be healing your past. You're going to be healing the things that you never were able to have the time for because you are meeting, you're, you're shifted, and you're meeting new people that are going to elevate you um, and take you to new places of your within yourself as well. So patience um, and definite healing um, is definitely uh, your challenge here. So let's see, where are we in the emotional body in this reading? Ah, oh, this is Sunny. You're feeling good. You are feeling wonderful. This is a yes card of, of all the hard work that you've been doing. Yes, the sun is saying yes. Um, you are feeling very, very, um, very fortunate. Um, and you can you can look back at your life and go, how did I get here, right? Hard work. <laughs> and so now, what is in the mental body? The mental body is the Ten of Swords. Finally, anything from the past that has been broken, um, this is ended. This is an ending to the past. Um, you are in a new network of, of, of energy here, a new network of life. This is no longer um, part of your element. It's, you're, you're going into more, more stability, no more losses, okay? And what is in the heart of this reading? The Nine of Swords, again, yes. So the Nine and the Ten together, being patient. Um, you're, being, uh, you're under construction here, okay? You're under construction, be patient, okay? And so know that the nine and the 10 is, it's over. A new you is coming into view. So just be patient for it to unfold because it's coming. It's definitely showing here in the sun aspect, okay? In the outcome. So know that, um, let's see, what is it that you need to surrender or surrender to? Let me see here. Ah, retreat. <laughs> <gasps> Go into common waters. Yes, it's time to rest, Capricorn. You've worked hard, and this is taking everything that you've learned and realigning uh, it into bringing you something more calmer waters, okay? More stability in your emotional intelligence, okay? And let's see, what is it that uh, is a possible potential or outcome for you in this? Okay, growth, beautiful growth. Yes, the two of coins, is gonna, you're going to have a lot on your plate. And uh, in this increase that you're making, you're definitely creating a masterpiece here. Um, so don't fear any blank canvases. This is work in the progress. New growth is coming. You're balancing a lot, and new growth is coming from it, um, Capricorn. This, this is definitely um, you. And let's see, what is it that um, started all this? 
the Queen of Coins. So the Queen of Coins is energy about wanting more stability, uh, independence, someone who's definitely very giving as well, wants everyone in their present, you know, in their presence of their life to be very well taken care of as well. They want it very sharing, very um, empathic as well. So I could see where your scope, Cap Capricorn, is definitely always trying to improve your life. So great, great, great energy. Um, and I can say yes to that. <laughs> Yeah, and as we improve our life, we get better, we feel better, we everything is better. So let's see, what is the final message from Gaia, from the heart of the core of Gaia, from her heart, in the core of the earth? What is the message for Caps, Capricorns, final message? This is the fifth time this card came out. Purification and water, emotional cleansing, and rejuvenation yes we will spend time with the earth definitely cleansing retreating going to calmer waters i hope you enjoyed your reading capricorn see you next week take care now bye bye